Uh, it's important for, for our fans to save our number when we text them because one time this guy texted into our number. He said, yo, stop texting my girl and asking how it tastes because we follow up with people. How does it taste? She must have not saved the contact. Hi, we're Nectar Hard Seltzer. And we're, the, oh, shit. My name's John, and I'm the beverage guy. <laughs> Hi, we're Nectar Hard Seltzer. You didn't see it go. I saw sorry. his mouth not moving. Hi, we're Nectar Hard Seltzer. And we're the number one Asian hard seltzer in the world. My name is Jeremy. I'm Sung. I'm John. I'm Brando. I'm Gang. We're in Jeremy's garage in Los Angeles right now, and this is where everything started. So when we were looking at the hard seltzer market, we felt that everybody was doing the same thing. It was grapefruit, lime, mango over and over again. The other thing we're thinking about is hard seltzer should be a light guilt-free drink. And so we decided to create the first Asian-inspired seltzer. Yeah, we want to be the Asian uh, Fanta girls. So all the wigs correspond to each nectar flavor. So I'm Mandarin. I'm Yuzu. I'm Lichi. I'm Asian Bear. I'm the box. Early on, Jeremy and I had a conversation about just how we would talk to customers, and we were always going to say, let's go text instead of email, because email is dead. And most people aren't really responding to an email blast, whereas texting is very personal, and you can have, it, it feels like you're talking to a friend. We were in this weird gray area, and it was super frustrating because we're like, nobody has this product in the world. How can we not get a single store to take a chance on us? And so that's when we decided to turn to the internet. And we posted that first TikTok video and we put a phone number in it because all we wanted to find out was, is there anybody in the world that wants this drink or did we completely miss on the idea? And luckily for us, that one video went viral and phone numbers just started blowing in. And at that point we said, okay, we got something. And we went to two stores and we used that as leverage, right? These are mom and pop liquor stores. They're family owned. And they were just like, TikTok, phone number. What do, you, what do you mean these people are your, these are your friends or who's texting you? Like, no, these are customers that we found. We picked two stores, did 150 at each, so that's 300 boxes total. That night we went home, we texted everybody. We said, hey, if you want Nectar, come to these two locations. Lines out the door, pandemonium. We sell out in under an hour. And right then and there, we're like, we, we have something. Because we are a small brand, it's very difficult, especially out of state, for people to want to take a chance on us. But it's easier for us to convince those people to say, hey, we'll take a chance on you guys. And we can bring it to anybody we want. We will come to any city that gets 300 phone numbers. Best feature that we use in community, I think, to help us scale and everything is the keywords. Of course, that's just a conversation starter. The keywords are just a conversation starter because people want to get the information fast. We use a lot of geotargeting for outreach campaigns, really want to interact and engage with the community with certain questions. A great example is when we partnered up with independent restaurants to help support them. So we texted like a cluster in San Diego, hey, San Diego people, what's your favorite restaurant? Like we want to help them out, we want to stock them. Drop happens, people line up at the door, we'll make up a word. Hey, text the word ox to the phone number. And so we know who came to the drop and who came and supported us. And we have very special things planned when the world opens up, coming back to those cities and doing something for the people that put us on early. One of the keywords that we use, Evergreen, uh, is on our truck we have the keyword Sherub. When someone's driving by, you can see it on our truck and they text it in. And that's just a fun way for us to see like how our truck is doing and where it's going. The surprise of when you text somebody something not traditionally what a business would text somebody and their response like, oh my God, like is this like a real person? And then you can actually talk to them. It's definitely, I think, the coolest part. You can never email and then start an email thread. You can reach us by texting us at 310-388-6729. We will come to any city where we get 300 people to text in. You can track all the progress in real time at quittheclaw.com.